The prosecution rested its case against a former LMPD officer involved in Breonna Taylor's death. Brett Hankison faces three counts of wanton endangerment for shooting into a neighbor's apartment. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff explains the significance of the expert witnesses who took the stand. The main witness was an LMPD firearms instructor who testified about Brett Hankison's training. And other instructors last week testified that Hankison's actions the night Breonna Taylor died were not in line with departmental training or standard operating procedures. Talking about the fundamentals of marksmanship and pistol marksmanship and particularly here is that you have to acquire your target. Firearms instructor Matt Gelhausen held up Brett Hankison's handgun, explaining how an officer would line up a target in the sights. It's always knowing what your threat or your target is that you've identified, but then also knowing what's around it, what's in front of it, what's beside it, what's beyond it, uh, what's behind it. Previous witnesses testified Hankison ran around to the side of Breonna Taylor's apartment and fired into a sliding glass door, even though he could not see what was on the other side. A neighbor testified about how Hankison's bullets nearly struck him, and in an interview shortly after the incident, Hankison told the Public Integrity Unit he saw muzzle flashes coming from the room. So you would need to go further to identify the target if you just see a muzzle flash. Based on our training and what I've discussed. Yes, ma'am. Tuesday in the courtroom, Hankison's attorney reminded the jury one officer, former Sergeant John Mattingly, had just been wounded. After officers knocked down Taylor's door, her boyfriend fired a single shot, striking Mattingly in the thigh. If I've just been shot, I think it's pretty safe to assume it's an active threat, correct? Yes, sir. Hankison's attorney suggested the training and procedures are not so black and white. The training, all, all of this takes place in controlled situations, correct? Yes, sir. Um, there's nobody out there shooting back at anybody. No, sir. Hankison is expected to take the stand on Wednesday with closing arguments on Thursday. Mark Vanderoff. WLKY News. And two of the officers with Hankison the night of Breonna Taylor's death, John Mattingly and Miles Cosgrove, are refusing to testify. They're pleading the fifth, citing an ongoing Department of Justice investigation.